Peace, peace. This is Rasu Jelani of Kudita Brooklyn, Kudita Arts. Peace. This is Daoud Abaid, Kudita Brooklyn, Sun Shower Films. You watch a crime magazine. New York, New York. It's a hell of a town. We both have a lot of friends that are artists and um, emerging artists are looking for ways to really display and exhibit their work. So we came up with the Kudita Art Collective to like use our following, our brand, to as a platform to really exhibit these artists. Kudita Brooklyn, our mantra is live to change something. And live to change something through art is a, a direct reflection of the way we see change being influenced and, and happening, perpetuated, like in our community. We figured that we should actually spearhead a campaign of recognizing the, the Renaissance here in Brooklyn. A lot of times, historians go back and say, oh, that was a Renaissance time, but we're recognizing what's going on now. We don't have to wait for someone to come in and do a book and make money off of our culture. We're just recognizing now. Magnetic, the flows are athletic. There are many themes throughout this, and some of the stuff is featuring and showcasing artists that people admire, you know, like the Lena Simone piece or the Bob Marley piece. But then you have people who are making like statements, like Ibrahim's piece, you know what I mean, where you see like kind of like all the evils or wrongdoing and injustices that are happening kind of today all culminated in like into one piece. And some are very abstract, some are very direct, and, and you know, in your face. So it's, it's a lot, you know what I mean? It's definitely a variation. This piece right here um, is a shot from Berman Fenelis. What's funny is the guy in the picture is this real like dope dude from our block. Rides his bike miles every day to Manhattan, you know what I'm saying? Still does martial arts, always got a book, always has something he needs to tell you or, you know, into health. And, you know, so it's like he's a culmination of what Brooklyn was, you know what I'm saying, in a lot of ways, or what set the foundation for what it is now, we should say. I was making a joke with uh, one of my friends, Leah Hamilton, that Brooklyn is, the, is, is the, the home of the witches, wizards, and weirdos, you know what I'm saying? Like, all the people that create, and all the people that aspire to be different come here. Brooklyn has been kind of like an inspiration to change in New York for a long time, you know what I mean? It's just that because of the way things were in the past, it was a little bit taboo, people were kind of scared to get to the root, you know what I mean? So you saw it happening around the city or in hip-hop culture and things of that nature, but people who were on the outside didn't always necessarily know where it was coming from. Often Ruben King, he's a master ceramic and pottery and sculptor. You know, Nikisha just went in and just picked the, the best one she felt would represent the exhibit. But. Nikisha was brought in by Rasu and Dawu to curate the exhibition, and she had such a huge undertaking working with so many artists. As a curator myself, I, I was in awe of her talent. Let's move. This has actually been one of the most successful exhibitions that we've had here at Skylight. Um, it's brought a new audience to the Skylight Gallery. So having, you know, these artists come in and everybody comes from a different perspective, you can really see that. That comes through in every single piece in here, the individuality of living to change something and what that would mean for the community. So it's exciting. The whole mission behind the clothing line is live to change something. Um, and it, it, it came about at a time when um, it was just like urban culture, our culture was really becoming pop culture instead of wearing things that we felt were exploiting our culture. Um, we wanted to create something that was going to celebrate it. Instead of you know being a talking head or coming off like very preachy, what we do is just put it on a t shirt, teach the babies. That's it, you know. Or stop getting arrested was our you know counteraction to stop snitching. Like I was tired of seeing that. Like stop snitching, really. So just like stop getting, you know, we decided to stop getting arrested, and you don't have to snitch, you know. Moving forward, things are going to be a little bit simpler, but complex. If that makes sense, so. There's not as many colors. Designs won't be as elaborate as they were in the past, um, just because there's a different fashion sense now. You know what I mean? We're, we're in a recession. You know, things aren't as excessive. People are a little bit more focused on what they're about. So, you know, the things we're looking to do are going to be simpler, you know, more utilitarian. Just stay tuned to www.cdtvk.com, and you'll always know where to buy it, where to go, what events is popping off, what art shows we're doing, and who we're promoting, because we're always promoting, you know, dope people. We are Coup d'Etat Brooklyn and our, our mantra says it all and if there's going to be any change, we're going to be right in the mix of that.
You're living at a time of extremism, a time of revolution. And now there has to be a change and a better world has to be built. And I, for one, will join in with anyone, don't care what color you are, as long as you want to change this miserable condition that exists on this earth. Thank you.